Some viewers may find the following content offensive and controversial. The information in this video comes from multiple sources, including court records, official police charges, news web articles, and interviews. This video commentary also contains my personal opinions about the facts of this story. The point is to use this story as a cautionary tale in hopes of preventing tragedies like these to children going forward. Viewer discretion is advised. That is your official disclaimer. You guys, this is actually going to be a part of the series called Funeral Home Foolery that is in my playlist, and I almost forgot about this part, because we have a person, and I've done stories very similar to this before, an alleged funeral con man contacted the Houston family in wake of this heartbreaking shooting, and y'all got to hear this. The family of Jalen Whitlock, a woman fatally shot at her daughter's birthday party, has been has reported has reported being contacted by an alleged con man offering funeral services. Y'all have seen those videos on my channel. Go back and watch the last few funeral home foolery stories. It's ridiculous. Javian Major, J-A-V-I-A-N. Why is all these people got Jalen, Jalen, and Javian? Anyway. Javian Major, J-A-V-I-A-N, who has faced multiple legal issues this year, reached out to the family shortly after Whitlock's death. Whitlock, who was 10 weeks pregnant, was allegedly shot by her ex-partner, ex-boyfriend, Jalen Foreman, J-A-L-I-N, at her home on Loxley Road on September the 12th, which was about maybe 11, 12, 13 days ago. The tragedy occurred during a celebration for their daughter, prompting profound grief for the family. Angela Whitlock, who is Jalen's grandmother, spoke to Fox 26 exclusively on September the 18th. You got a baby who wants to have a birthday, but then she doesn't. She says, my daddy killed my mommy on my birthday, so that is Jalen's grandmother, apparently. So the woman we just watched, that was the grandmother. Why on my birthday, why do I say, she asked. The day after Whitlock's death, her aunt says she received an Instagram message from Major offering condolences and suggesting local funeral services. Let me see if I can pull that up for y'all because I don't have it saved. I want y'all to see this. Give me a second. I wish they could give me a bigger version of this. Can I find a bigger version of this? Nope. I don't know what this is going to look like, but we're going to try it anyway. Y'all give me just a second. Hmm. Because I want y'all to take a look at this as much as you can see. I'm going to put this on the screen. We're going to make it big so y'all can see this. JV and Major. That is the, the alleged funeral home person, the funeral home kind man. Suggesting local funeral services. The family proceeded with Major's recommended funeral home uh, and paid nearly $7,000 for services, which is what y'all just heard. It says, hi, this is Jalen's aunt. You said DM you. What's up? I send my deepest condolences to you and your family. I would love to help your family. I am a partner of Family Care Mortuary. I can offer a free casket wrap or horse carriage. My firm has been in business for over 42 years. I would love to help your family. A lot of people are sending me your profile. That's what that picture says right there. So let me crop this a little bit and then we'll keep going. So I'm going to leave this up here on the screen for a little bit. Major has been the subject in a series of breaking bond reports focusing on his alleged fraudulent activities, including taking payments for funeral home for funeral services and embalming that never occurred, as well as mishandling bodies. After eight months, after an eight month investigation, Major was arrested earlier this year and is out on a bond of ten thousand of a ten thousand dollar bond. 
This family does this family not only has to deal with the compounded grief of losing a beloved family member, but now they find out that this is that this perpetual scammer is also taking advantage of them, said Andy Cahan of Crime Stoppers of Houston. Court documents reveal that they excuse me, court documents reveal that as part of his bond conditions, Major is prohibited from working in any capacity related to funeral services. His attorney contends that Major was merely referring the family to a funeral home and did not violate his bond conditions. They also say all negotiations on the services and contracts were done by the funeral home's owner. However, Cahan argues that contacting the family about business related to a funeral, to a funeral constitutes a violation, which I 100% agree. If he's a scammer, he's he's in jail for it, he's on bond for it, he shouldn't be able to, to even say the word funeral, funeral services, refer anybody, none of that. So I agree that that's a violation of his probation. It's a little rascal's joke, by the way. The prosecutor in Major's case is planning to file a motion to revoke his bond due to the recent allegations, and I hope they do. The Whitlock family has since halted payment on funeral services, they were referred to by Major and arranged for Jalen Jalen Whitlock's body to be transferred to another funeral home. Efforts to contact the funeral home Major referred them to have been unsuccessful. Now, now let's take a look at that news video. Federal law allows citizens to reproduce, distribute, or exhibit portions of copyrighted motion pictures, videotapes, or video discs under certain circumstances without the authorization of the copyright holder. This is called fair use and is allowed for purposes of criticism, news reporting, teaching, and parody, which doesn't infringe of copyright under 17 U.S.C. 107. Only on Fox here tonight, the family of Jalen Whitlock, the woman killed at her daughter's birthday party, says they were contacted by an accused con man about providing funeral services. Javion Major was the subject of multiple breaking bond reports this year. Reporter Sherman DeSalle joining us live with details that you'll hear only on Fox. Sherman. Yeah, good evening, Anthony Rashi. So the family says that they paid nearly $7,000 for funeral services that Javion Marks referred them to before they saw our previous stories, the recent one uh, back in March. They said they quickly rearranged things for their loved one after that. Jalen Whitlock, who was 10 weeks pregnant at the time of her death, was allegedly shot by her ex-partner and father of her two oldest children, Jalen Foreman, on September 12th. She was shot at home on Loxley Road while celebrating their daughter's birthday. You got a baby that she doesn't even, like she wanted to have a birthday, but then she don't. Because my daddy killed my mommy on my birthday, Granny. Why on my birthday? What do I say? The day after Whitlock's death, her aunt was contacted via Instagram message by Javion Major offering condolences and local funeral services to the family. Major has been the focus in Randy Wallace's Breaking Bond series. He was on the run earlier this year after being investigated for eight months on stolen insurance funds, charging families for... That is a ridiculous looking human being. Look at that. That man is wider than both of those police officers put together. He's got a, a scammer looking body shape on major offering condolences and local funeral services to look at the that. family Ma he needs to spend some time in the gym rather than spending time contacting recommending funeral services you need somebody need to recommend him a gym or a diet god dog big funny looking ass got a clean ass haircut but the rest of you look like shit i guess you could just cover up shit with sugar you could just Take some shit and slap some sugar on it, and it's all good, right? Put some Versace on, and I guess that's going to cover up them titties and stretch marks, huh? Scammer body. <laughs> it's all jokes, people. Come on now. Major has been the focus in Randy Wallace's Breaking Bond series. Sloppy little boy. He was on the run earlier this year after being investigated for eight months on stolen insurance funds, charging families for funerals and embalmings that didn't happen and mishandling bodies. He was arrested and given a $10,000 bond. 
Whitlock's family proceeded to work with the funeral home Major mentioned, paying nearly $7,000 for the services. This family not has to have compounded grief on losing a beloved family member. Now they find out that this perpetual scammer is also you know, taking him, taking him to the woodshed as well. Court documents show as part of his bond condition, Major is not permitted to work in any capacity that involves performing funeral services. His attorney argues he was only referring to business and not in violation. If you're reaching out to a family to conduct business involving a funeral, you're in violation of your bond. So the court will be notified. The court has been notified. I actually spoke with the prosecutor of this case. They tell me that they will be making a motion to revoke Javion Major's bond based on violating bond conditions. Also, Jalen Whitlock's family says that they've been able to stop payments on their previous services that they paid for and also transfer her body to another local well-known funeral home. I also reached out to that first funeral home that they say Javion Major referred them to, but I've yet to hear back from them. Reporting from downtown, Sherman DeSell, Fox 26 News. So this is going to end up being a two-part story for obvious reasons. First of all, I hate liars, I hate thieves, I hate scammers. And I hope that that man with that horrible, horribly shaped body, like that man looked like Bevo Lottie, got more head than he got body. That man looked like a <laughs> soggy bag of cereal. Like, you know how you can go to the grocery store and you ain't got to get the cereal in the box and you could just go get the bag? If you just poured a whole gallon of milk in there and tied it to the top, I'm sorry, but uh, I got to go back to that video because I'm just so disgusted. That's what this man would look like. <laughs> Golly, I don't care how mad he gets. You will never... Never refer services for my funeral, be buried in your funeral home, or anybody that's tied to you, your cousins, family, friends, nothing, right? Not at all. Bad, built, son of a gun. So, again, back to this tragedy of dating thugs. When you date thugs, when you have thug pythons, guess what's going to happen? Eventually, that thing is going to squeeze the life out of you, and you have to stop bringing pythons into your home. I continue to say to our people that we cannot continue to be and affect ourselves as the biggest demise of anything. We're not talking about health issues. We're not talking about uh, plagues. We're talking about us doing this to ourselves. These are choices, decisions. And that continues to be the thing that affects the black community more than anything, affects, affects black children more than anything, is stuff like this. And again, I pray for those children, beautiful little kids. RIP to the mother. Um, as far as the message that I said, I absolutely meant every word because I want people to learn and grow from this, okay? But I hope that that fool gets life in prison, and I hope that that other soggy bad body fool also gets a lot of time in prison. Thank you guys so much for listening. Leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you guys think, okay? Thank you.